But I'm, I'm gonna fall around and make my whole fucking album distorted, and they gonna, they gonna be like that boy edgy as fuck. Yeah, fuck, T Cap 803. Coming heavy with the weight and feel. One day with the hoes and Jesus hand held. Give a fuck how a man feel. Whole world at a standstill, stigmatized. Donald Trump, that will not criticize. Still question Obama, like my nigga lied. White girls, boots and stuff, my nigga ride. Out here, switching sides. Cost and shift the mind the window, cause they living blind. And they saw that showing. I swear my flow, how I'm pulling. How these hoes got open, and you know. Pops joking, if he ain't stuck again, it's some one in your seven victim hell's free of heaven's prison, these are split decisions, and I think I get the missus, but I get the masses, my whole arm, there no walls, I ain't kissing ass in the shit, and I don't stop, don't stop, she ain't flaws, the enemy, she won't call her, you get it, she ain't coming, you get it, she ain't running, baby, like this is why they ain't even back to drive, horsepower, it's easy, punch it, smoke a weed, I'm blunting, no, this thesis, man, ain't me like Jesus. Eating e knowledge, I got key consumption, super saying wanna be. I ain't gonna be no buzzing for your family, they ugly. You can keep your cousin, most people puzzling. You want my time is about an hour and I need a hundred. I see your ship and see a sunken, missing me, she keep on cutting. She a keeper, love a hot box, a beam and bucket. My demon, she seen a sucker, she bring me, need me, so fucking here for long haul. Press hold of God calls. Creighton keeps talking when I unmute. The microphone, he's talking in any way before the music's done, and I ask him uh, to shut up. Hey, Craig. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> How's it going, dude? It's going pretty, pretty good. I did something today I haven't done in no, like a year. I went to Dave and Buster's. Did you get? Did you win anything? Did you win the thing? <coughs> I the did. Switch? No. Uh, so Matt's like five thousand tickets off now. <laughs> he started the night off at like right at did ninety thousand. Raise, raise what? The 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 tickets for the Switch or anything? No. Well, okay. I mean, the Switch is already like relatively cheap compared to some of the other big ticket items in there for 100000 Watching Tim play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader is content. Yes. Yes, it was. Well, I didn't I didn't get to see that part. I was watching him play uh, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That was the one I got to see him watch. It was pretty fucking hilarious. We should do that. Hey, guys. Hey, Adrian. Hey, Adrian. We should definitely stream us playing, like, Jeopardy, or are you smarter than the fifth grader? Adrian's been bold tonight, Charlie. She is? Yes. In what ways? I can't say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, Optic is back, baby. Yes, they are. Optic is... Isn't that crazy? Optic being back at the caliber they are, are, are you smarter than the fifth grader? I had a wrong answer on a question. What? What was the question? What was the wrong answer? What was the right answer? I want to know all these answers. <laughs> um, Did we talk about Optic? Like a, a while back, whenever the, it, uh, it got announced, like I know you're not as big into gaming and stuff, we but it was a pretty about cool him situation. For but I can't remember what we talked for, with him, talked about. Whenever we talked about it, him, it's a it's a not a him. It's an organization or hi- whatever. Uh, want to kiss later? No, right. First of all, Sneaky, I'll kiss you anytime you want. Thank you for the 17 month. I literally am in love with you. Oh, I'm so happy for Hex. Me too. Uh, it was a- it asked what time zone is Nevada? Nick guessed Pacific and Mountain. And the game said it was only Pacific. I, I don't know. I don't know the. An- I don't know if whether that's. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's based on when the game was made. I'm sure they don't update the game, because I know like Nevada's been weird with. Is it Nevada or Arizona that's been weird with like daylight savings and time zones in general, like uh, over history? It might be Arizona, or New Mexico. There's a state out there. <laughs> Somewhere over there on the left, <laughs> where they uh they they've never had daylight savings, mm-hmm. and like South Carolina, so like this most previous daylight savings, yeah, I'm pretty sure is the last one South Carolina will ever have. So going forward, daylight, sure? sa- I'm pretty sure. So going forward, daylight savings isn't supposed to. Happen. Arizona doesn't do daylight savings, I think. Yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. Really, Creighton? Also, I'm so sad that Alex Trebek passed away. Yeah. Yes. That. Yeah, oh my God. Us. It was made that way in 1999. Yes, really, Adrian. But, oh, my God, me too. Charlie broke the news to me the other night on the stream, like, two days after it happened. Fun fact, I lived in the only town in Nevada that was mountain time. Damn. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's because there's a town. <laughs> Maybe they're just like, you know what? Fuck it. It's Pacific. <laughs> Otherwise, I guess. I don't know. I wonder how stuff like that works. So let me double check the South Carolina thing. Because I, I was told that, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. I'm just looking at you because I'm like, what we were talking about earlier, I'm thinking about doing it. 
no, no, don't, no, no. But it would be so funny. It would be pretty funny. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> but it would be so funny, Drew. Could they let, will they, oh. it is almost oh my like god <laughs> shut up lady god you're loud uh this article is from october 23rd of this year will daylight saving times be permanent in south carolina um it's almost that time of year get ready to fall back and reset uh, your clocks for next sunday but but with daylight saving times ending it brings up the question on where south carolina stands with a bill that would do away with time changes altogether twice a year south carolina Carolinians are used are used to changing their clocks, either falling behind or springing forward from losing an hour of sleep to gaining an hour. It can sometimes be a dreaded move, but will wait. But will time changes like these be coming to an end? To verify, News 19 took a question took the question to Senator God. I hate, I fucking hate journalism talk. What? It's a video many of you no, are sending I, to our no. newsroom. It shows a police officer <laughs> punching a man on the ground. There are some claims this what? video happened in South Carolina. News 19's Alicia Niaves. Dude, fuck you. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I hate stuff like that. Um, Tennessee passed it three years ago and still is still waiting on federal approval. What? The town was split in half by the Nevada and Utah border. So they didn't want one half of the town to be in a different time zone. Ebear Incorporated followed. Thank you for the follow, Ebear. 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 Yo, it's Eric, your cousin. Eric! I knew that looked... Bro. Eric? Like your actual uh, cousin? Yeah, my real cousin, Eric. I don't know. If, did you meet him? No. In, in Buford? Uh, Quentin got to. <coughs> he, uh, w w he would work the uh, like food area at Buford, like... When you he know was what? In I high bet school. I probably met you him, might have but met I didn't him. know it was your cousin. You may have. Because, like... What's up, Eric? Yo, tell your mom to answer the f the phone. <laughs> Bro, I have tried to He's call you guys. He's been trying to call you guys for I've been trying time. to call your mom he forever. He talks about it every podcast. I don't do that. I don't know about that. <laughs> like, how else would I know, Charlie? Dude, you're just trying to sow discord in my family. <laughs> <laughs> I, Caroline gave me... Uh, your mom's number, and I was trying to just get in contact with you guys. This was like six or seven months ago, and I called a couple times. I sent a text and got nothing back, so I don't know if she had the wrong She's number. She's probably just like, who is this, like, asking And then what I should have done me. was just Snapchat you, and I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Real family members? Oh, well, I'll talk to her. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's up, dude? Hey, whoa, that's so weird. Yeah, see, it is getting weird when, like, like, first it was weird when we were walking around town and people recognize us. Yeah. Like where someone's like, "Hey, you do a like," and by around town, I really just mean at Food Line, yeah. like where everybody who works yeah, there yeah, knows yeah. you. And they're like, "Hey, where you do the everybody podcast." Everybody knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, I've never seen Cheers, but I know the theme song. Where everybody, everybody knows, knows your name. name. What a great da -da 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 -da. theme song! It's a really the great right? song. Right? Like, it's just a great song in general. Like there are some shows that I've never seen, but I like want to watch because the theme song's just that good. It's so good. It was like Big Time Rush. I didn't watch the show, but that song is oh my a God. absolute I banger. watched Big Time Rush, and it was pretty good. <laughs> ego going to your pretty heads? Thing. It's not ego. How dare you? Um, <laughs> I forget who it was at Food Line. I, I, I we somebody on Facebook? <laughs> I don't know. I got distracted by my rage. <laughs> <laughs> well, not even my rage, just like my great, my just the joke that I made. Because I was like, this is so funny. I got to like, you Creighton know. is debating whether or not he Because we got to tell this story. Can we tell it? Not the whole story, but you I'll, can tell. Look, I'll you can divulge any of the information you want. It's about you. I will use vague terminology. We get it. You guys are so famous. We're not. So famous. it's just weird that someone in my family is like in the in the Discord saying, "What's up?" So I am the Food Line King. Like, you are Copenhagen. My ex <laughs> blocked me on everything except for like Instagram. Sometimes I see their story, mm -hmm. even though like I'm not like looking at it all the time, or even like only on my way to look at it. I'll just see it because you know you go through Instagram stories, and. I like posted our thing that we were going live, and I just ha I accidentally went over one, and like saw their post, and it was um, how I sleep whenever, how I sleep th thinking about my ex ruining somebody else's life or something like that, and it was like it was a really funny meme, but it, mm -hmm. I wanted to just slide up and be like, oh, I miss you too, bitch, <laughs> like you know, <laughs> the bitch would be too much, I or I just like, oh, I miss you too. Yeah, that would be pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> Like it's, it's like it's it's ruthless. That's the thing. It's like it's so savage because of what happened. I remember this time. Good job, Flint. Good mod. Hashtag head mod, Flint. 
But Chris is gaining on you. I'm just going to let you know ahead of time. <coughs> so, you know, step up. <laughs> Imagine if we just make our mods, like, competitive <laughs> with each other, and that's why Bro, we keep them around. If we can't make our mods, like, a competitive Hunger Games, then I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> well, to be fair, we only have, like, two active mods, and then, like, I have, like, 20. What are the mods? Hold so, on. you hear Slash it. You guys hear it. Mods. If anybody, Flint's, if anyone's winning, it's Flint. Let's see. The moderators of this channel are Flint, Alberto, Sacrifice, Shake and Be Baked, Yorgos, Inflict, Papa Flash, Sneaky. Sneaky's here. What are you trying to say? <laughs> 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 Nothing. Wait. What? Hold on. Did I just hear a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> Barely, Chris. Barely. How dare you assume such such nonsense? Anthony, uh, Boss Lady, Leslie, Kevin, Super Soaker, Danny, Nathan, Bumper, and Tim. Tim's like number three or four mod. Honestly, Sneaky's probably here more than Tim is. It's fine. I'm useless as a mod, to be honest. Yeah, but you get the mod privileges because of who you are. Yeah. You're like, you know, absolute legendary status. Yeah. Bro, that was so weird. I saw Ebear, and I was like, I know that name. <laughs> I thought, honestly, it was the guy from GameStop. I was going to say, I, I thought it was him, too. I was like, Little Bear? <laughs> I love Little Bear. Bear. But, like, Ebear, I believe, is, like, his, his Snapchat or something. I don't remember. On the real, fuck Tim. Whoa, that's crazy, Copenhagen. That's crazy. Damn. Yes, give me some of your massive ego. That's what I need. Yeah, ego. <coughs> How dare you stop? My cousin's here. <laughs> hey, um, did you do the number for the episode? Oh, yeah. It's episode 122. And you guys know what that means. <laughs> I see you there. <laughs> this one was weird because we didn't really know, like... Like, we went through, like, three pages of Google trying to find something half ass interesting. All that I found was another podcast... At episode 122, <laughs> that just happened to be like someone that I listen to and enjoy, and it was a uh, Lex Friedman's podcast with uh, Commander David Fravor, and essentially he talks about aliens. He talks about a lot of shit, but aliens is like the the is gusto. That the, is that the one that we talked about that one time with the Tic Tac thing? Yes, but that was on Joe's podcast. This time Lex goes on. It's like four hours long, and like Did Lex you is in, to it? not all of it. Okay. Lex is like a scientist. Who like he specializes in AI technology, and he's the one hosting the podcast and questioning David Fravor about aliens. It is wild, <laughs> like just the two of them, because like Commander Fravor is like a very, like straight laced, like by the book. He's not like a weirdo or a conspiracy theorist. He's just talking about what he saw, like, and it took him years and years and years to decide that he wanted to even that he would do it at all. Like, he, he had sat on the information and just didn't do anything for, like, a decade. And, like, the guy that made the uh, documentary about Bob Lazar, uh, the other the guy who worked at S4 at Area 51, who says he found, like, worked on, like, spaceships and shit, uh, the guy that made that documentary, like, knew Fravor and was, like, trying to get him to come public with all his information, but he just wouldn't. He's like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> He's like, I don't want this shit in my life. <laughs> and then finally, like, uh, they convinced, he convinced him. That's so Dude, it is almost that time of the year. Oh, get ready to fall fuck. Fuck. away. Who is I didn't that? even have that tab open. It's the news again. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they're trying to interrupt us. Oh, bro. Commander David Fravor. Fravor. Like, I'm Frazier. so sad this is the first year I'm not buying COD on release. Just buy it. What are you talking about? What? Wait, was this the fighter jet guy who saw the UFO? Yes. Yeah, what's yes. up? What's up, Prime Corps? We talked about him like 50 episodes or something ago. Oh, we talked about him like 10 or 15 episodes yeah. ago, too. I mean, we ta we've talked it, about him we've a talked few times. About him, we talked about him the first time, I think, back in April when a bunch of shit got declassified. Cause the yeah, running that shit was nuts. I couldn't yes. believe what I saw. I can't believe that happened. Yeah. And it was a minor note in 2020. It was, it was, like, not just a minor note. It was, like, the fucking bottom of the barrel news of 2020. The Pentagon admitted we have alien technology. They declassified it and admitted it's real. They said off-planet vehicles. Those are the words the Pentagon used. And yet, like, you know. And no one's talking about nobody it. Nobody is. Like, w w what? It's bottom of the barrel news. I love that podcast from Joe. Yeah, it was pretty pretty great. I've had enough of these autoplay vids. Yeah, like like <laughs> ads have been terrible lately, and he can't even get away from it when he's listening to a fucking podcast. Damn. <laughs> it's like in the middle of the podcast. Uh, I don't start my new job till Monday. Got to be smart with money. Oh, I understand. You yeah. suck, Charlie. We don't have alien technology. Okay. Conspiracy theories are not conspiracies anymore. 
exactly. I feel like Charlie, like you know, Copenhagen is like this re- this real country guy, like sitting in his back porch. Going, he just doesn't believe anything. Come on, Charlie, we don't got no alien. We don't got no alien technology, Man, Charlie. Pla- airplanes don't exist. He's just positive that there's no electricity. It was just small birds from far away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they light up. Everybody <laughs> lights up. I remember I was eating a chicken sandwich on my campus. I miss being in school. I'm grabbing vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be Mr. (laughs) Delivery, lol. Wait, Chris, post office? Yep. Oh, shit, Mr. Delivery. Charlie. What? (laughs) What? What's the weather? (laughs) Oh, okay, good good point. I should figure out the weather, shouldn't I? Um, Oh, my God. Everybody knows your name. What a great name. What is it? Hold on, I'll tell you in a second. Is it Amsterdam? No. Abercrombie? No. Aeropostale? No. Anaconda. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alabama. I will not be insulted by a person who does not understand the concept of a <laughs> lobby. <laughs> he's got a he's got a good point, Craig. You should talk shit. I do understand the concept of a lobby. I understand that the lobby had another restaurant in it. Two restaurants and one lobby just seems like a lot. The weather in <laughs> Apanus. Apanus. Apanus County, Iowa, <laughs> is 37 degrees Fahrenheit. The weather is clear. Precipitation is a whopping 2%. The humidity was 94%. And the wind, one mile an hour. Finally, 20 minutes in, <laughs> welcome to the Shirts Off Podcast. Hey, welcome. <laughs> uh, what is your dictionary, Urban Day of the Word? <laughs> The lobby is in the restaurant. The (laughs) restaurant is not in the lobby. (laughs) The restaurant is in the lobby, Copenhagen. Creighton. 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 (laughs) Creighton. Read the word. Appa noose. Appa noose. Oh, like appa. Appa noose. It's a noose for appa. Oh, my God, Creighton, (laughs) no. It's an appa noose. (laughs) So my Urban Dictionary word of the day is exhibitionist. A person who indulges in public display... (laughs) In public displaying their physical appearance, but also their power or wealth or personality. For example, they might dress extravagant or thought-provoking, look or th- have thought-provoking looks, or post an exercise number, of an excessive number of photos of themselves to on social media. Charlie, we disagree with most. <laughs> Me? Yes, we disagree with most definitions. Of in months. We disagree with most definitions in mainstream dictionaries as a person who behaves. In ways intend to be intended to attract attention. While this might be true m- in many cases, they seem to force a psychological interpretation of their behavior. We are not able to judge. Get off of that fucking! I hate when stuff like highlights, and I'm not even like yeah. fucking. Anyways, uh, not to be confused with psychiatric with the psychiatric definition of exhibitionist referred to referred to as those who show their genitalia in public. Charlie, handle your business before the bureau does it for you. What um, is this? What are you talking about? <laughs> I am something at exhibition. So yeah, this one was actually like a word. Yeah, it was like a real word. I was like, what is, what's, where's the joke? But this is like the social exhibitionist. This isn't mm-hmm. like the psychiatric version, which is someone who yeah. just likes showing genitalia in public. They're talking about mail. Well, They're sitting here talking about real mail. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Charlie, handle your business before the bureau does it for you. I'm confused by what you're talking about. Copenhagen, what are you talking about? What's he talking about? What business does he discuss? Is he does he mean? <laughs> oh, excuse me. You're really killing it over there with the whole podcast thing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sorry, I'm tr- I'm in the battle of wits with Adrian. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> These guys are sitting here discussing mail. What are they talking uh, about? Th- like roots and hours yeah, and things nervous. that happen. Yeah. This is crazy. How dare you both? The big office. <laughs> it's the biggest office. I've got the biggest office. My my office only has three city and roots. It's got so two many rural roots. roots. It's got so many roots. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. <laughs> What's that we from? We just got a letter. We just got. That's from Blues Clues. What the fuck? Is it? I didn't yes. watch Blues Clues. What? Oh Charlie, shut up. We're talking. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, Let like me just sit here quietly yeah. and watch you. Yeah, read. watch you guys talk. <laughs> we'll read your conversation. That's yeah. what we do. Okay, you're you're sneaky, and I'm I'm Illini. Okay. 
Yeah, there was about five different stations I could get sent. Apparently, after training, I got sent to a good one. I'm in the rich part, so don't have to worry about work in the projects. Now we wait for Sneaky to say something. For Sneaky to say something. Flint says, you don't know Blue's Clues? What the fuck? I didn't watch it. (laughs) I'm disappointed. I may have watched an episode when I was a kid. I'm disappointed in you. What? Like, deeply disappointed. I didn't watch many kids' shows when I was a kid. Okay, so... Fuck off. I'm done talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with high income areas is I can't. There's a blank. There's they blank. love ordering dumb they shit they a lo- lot. Oh, okay. There we go. Y'all mail, mail carriers? Yes, they are. Yes. Copenhagen, what were you talking about? You said for me to handle my business. I think he's talking about goes. me, like, <laughs> you know, because I was talking shit about Copenhagen. <laughs> oh, handle you? Like, just <laughs> get you to stop? <laughs> Greetings, fellow yeah, government they're, they're employees. They're going to get you taken. Fellow government employees. Copenhagen is a. Uh, we don't know. He won't tell he us. He's, he's either government. straight up like a hitman <laughs> for the government or he's like just processing, you know, like coupons. I don't know. Coupons for aren't government stuff, though. I don't know. You never know. Or he's a ta- there, like there might be government coupons. Or he's like does something with the IRS. I've been city, county, and now federal government. I skipped state. I'm Charlie's FBI agent. There you go. He's studying me. He's making. Sh- he's keeping me in line. There's a lot to study. Me? Yes. I sit in this room for like two thirds of my life. There's not a lot to study. <laughs> I've can't. I've fucking five cameras in here. <laughs> Three of them are connected to the internet. Like, <laughs> wait, do you have five cameras in here? Yeah. What's the other two? Or the other three? No. Wait, you have cameras? Like, did you do you film stuff in here? No. I mean, I have cameras in here. I don't film anything. What do you film in here? I don't film anything. Yeah, well, except the podcast. Even when, like, you know. You were with your girlfriend? No. Oh, okay. What's wrong with you? Well, some people are Since into graduation, that. Since graduation, I've always been a government employee in some capacity. Some people are into that, Charlie. Don't act <laughs> like it's weird. I mean, it's weird. E- it's even if people are into it, it's weird. weird. Oh, that reminds me. You know what I found out was a thing the other day? What did you find out was a thing? I'm worried. <laughs> 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 what did you find out was a thing? Gunplay. <coughs> what? Gunplay. Oh, gunplay. Yeah, it happens on The Sopranos. It's like, crazy, right? <laughs> like gunplay yeah. is nuts. <laughs> so in the Sopranos, someone I was talking to the other day was telling me about their experience with gunplay, and I was like, "What in the fuck <laughs> are you talking?" In about? Sopranos, Tony Soprano's sister is like fucking one of the like guys in the the mob, and like when when he's fucking her, like he has to be choking her and like holding a gun to her head. It's a crazy. A loaded gun. A loaded gun. With the safety off. With the safety off. And that's all about not squeezing that trigger. <laughs> Five pounds of pressure. It's crazy. That's what this person was telling me that they were into. And what? That, uh, a yeah. person you know? I thought you you found out about no, it. No, not no. like... Somebody you that we about mutually know. <laughs> Who? Do I know them? You well. married me, Charlie. <gasps> <laughs> really? Whoa. <laughs> right? <laughs> holy shit. That's when, yeah, that's the moment I was like, holy fucking shit. I gotta that's, go. Yeah, later. <laughs> well, sometimes Charlie don't lie. What? Nothing like a loaded AK pointed at your <laughs> cubes to get that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope my cousin <laughs> left. I hope he's not here anymore. But yes, yeah, so, uh, so she was telling me about that. Uh huh. And I was like, what? In the fuck? How are you not fucking dead? Because I don't know if any of you guys have ever been, like, in the heat of passion with someone. But, like, you know, how do I... Finger control (laughs) isn't, like, the most crazy thing in the world. Because certain things make you want to grip, like, you know, harder on stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like, certain things make you want to clinch. Yeah, sure, but... And I I feel like... With the gun in my hand, I would accidentally pull the trigger. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was worried about the first 90. They're still talking about mail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's called trigger discipline, Creighton. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know about I know it's called trigger discipline. I know we're talking about with them already having their finger on the trigger. I understand. Well, totally like, I, I guess I, I get what you're saying, but I don't think it would be that much of an issue. <laughs> You don't think so? No. <laughs> Would you feel confident in yourself enough to do that? Me? Yeah. Me personally? Yes. Like, like it's not even an issue. I just, like, am so, like, even with the guns <laughs> unloaded, like, completely unloaded, nothing in, like, you know, the, what's it called? The chamber. 
I like worry about accidentally like firing it. Mm-hmm. Like you have the safety on, nothing in the chamber, and I'm like, oh my god, like because that's just been drilled into me my whole life. Yeah. Um. So like, my dad fucking scared the shit out of me with that, and like my mom also scared the shit out of me with that. So like any well, time, scary. Well, I know guns. I are shot scary. a kid in the face. That's when it got, it scared me the most. <laughs> I had an airsoft gun and I thought it was empty and. Like, I took the clip out and was just going to shoot him with the air to scare mm. him, but there was a BB still in it, and I shot him in the eye. <coughs> and it was not cool. Oh, it was, you, was it somebody you know? Yeah, it was my f- brother's friend, Blake. It was like... His Blake? Not that Blake. Oh. A different Blake. Uh, This was when we were kids. This is when I was like... I was probably 14. Mm. It was like 10, 9 or 10 years when ago. He was 12. Yeah, he was a little younger. And Damn. that's when I got assigned char- to Charlie. Did you, did, you take, <laughs> did you take his eye out? No, I so I when I, I I hit him like right next to the eyeball oh on the skin. Oh my god! Like his eye was you messed up. You almost killed him. No, it's nah, an air sub. You almost <laughs> killed I his eye. Him, yeah, I almost I might I could have probably blinded him, but I don't know. Your eyes are actually pretty pretty strong. Like people have been shot in the eye by airsoft guns. It just like it'll fuck you up for like an hour or two, and you won't be able to see as well. But like your vision will f- usually I fully still return. Still don't want to get shot. Yeah, no, I'm not saying yeah, let's go do it. I'm saying <laughs> it can happen. And now you're charged with murder and necrophilia. What? <laughs> but, so, that's the part that I was like, no. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> no, Charlie will shoot your eye out. <laughs> On Christmas, How you just you. have a bunch of kids come outside. And you're like, all right, let's get this over Line with. Line up. <laughs> 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 it's like that scene in the first Black Are Ops game. <laughs> Remember in the Call of Duty Black Ops, the first one, when they're like, they're in the Russian base or whatever, and the guy's just out there, like, killing everybody one at a time, like, executing them. And he runs out of bullets, and he gets his knife and just, <laughs> bro. Do you want to c- Charlie shoots to maim, not to kill sick bastard. Are you going to do that to fucking Logan? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, on Christmas Day, you're like, all right, Logan, time for your Christmas present. Time to get shot in the face. <laughs> I got you this BB gun, but I got to shoot you in the eye first. So that way you learn to respect it. That was, uh, that was, that was like a... Isn't that what they do with the cops and everything with tasers? Is like yeah, you have to be shot by it. Them, yeah. <sighs> Which my question is, like, and, and I pepper this spray. Up the you other have to day. be pepper sprayed and, and you have to be tased. Why to don't use they those like shoot them with the rubber bullets? They probably do. Like just so that way I know they have that a respect I know. I think that the Secret Service, the, gun the Secret Service, have to wear a bulletproof vest to get shot. That's pretty. cool. I'm pretty sure that's part of their training. I think. Let me look that up. <laughs> like I want to say you're in spouse. You imagine, nonsense again. Like what if you like it and you're like, oh yeah, shoot me again. But a bulletproof vest can only take so many hits though, right? Yeah, one vest. Um hold on. By the way, have you seen the new vests like the sheriff's deputies have been wearing? No. So they're like vests that are integrated into their uniform. Like, it looks like part of their uniform. Have you have you looked at, like, have you been it's near a sheriff's deputy? It's a vest that looks like a uniform? So, so, like, it's the same color as the shirt that they wear underneath, and it's got, like, all the detailing and stuff that the shirt has. So, f- so from far away, it looks like they're just, like, dressed normally, but all that's actually, all the stuff in the center mass is bullet, is, like, bulletproof material or, like, a bulletproof vest. That's pretty fucking baller. Right? Like, so, like, and I didn't notice it until, like, you know, I started really working closely with the sheriff's department, you know, through Food Lion, because we have them come over all the time. You okay, man? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Shut up, Christ. bro. What I hate doing? articles. I'm looking at this, uh, an article about the Secret Service and how they get trained. But, so, one night, There's too much. we I'm had this, this friend of mine that I will not name her, but she's a cop. And she's mm-hmm. pretty cool. She's also very hot, but she's engaged. <laughs> the whole story. Okay. She used to work at Food Line, though, so she, like, knows everybody in there. Charlie, know. that's not a thing. The Secret Service are not required to get shot. Okay. So. Someone is. So someone out there has to get she's shot. She's in there, and I, like, just happened to look over, and she's, like, like, I realized that her uniform isn't, like, just her uniform, but it's also, like, a bulletproof vest. Yeah. You know, on top of everything else that she has to wear. By the way, this, this girl is built, Charlie, like, built. Yeah, she's a cop. No, I mean, like. She was built before, like she was a bodybuilder before she went into oh, okay. like you know. So well, I'm sure the whole time she was like, uh, you Hold don't on. just become a cop. Like, no, it's, I know. It's a lot of school. It's I a lot of stuff. I know. So it she is. was probably Hold preparing on. to I'm, be a I'm cop. I'm just gonna show you a picture real quick, just so that way you can get an idea. Okay. Because like, like, there are know? fat cops. Yes. There are fat cops. There are fat yeah. cops. 
I'm not saying. Charlie's just saying some people aren't. Some people aren't fat cops. I mean, some people train to be a cop and want really like are into it. Like you know, class of uniform carriers, class A uniform carriers are fairly common. There you go. I know a fat cop. He's pretty chill. <laughs> well, a lot of cops that look fat, it's really just all that armor. Like not armor, yeah, but like true. all their vests and well, shit. I mean, like well there was a cop, him. there was a cop at my elementary school that we all thought was fat, and he like showed up to gym one day without his uniform on, like wearing like like a like a compression shirt, and he was fucking r- ripped. And we were like, "Whoa, Sam, you're not fat." <laughs> oh, hey, let me. He's like, "Yeah, I'm a cop." This is a perfect, <laughs> like, perfect example. Like, look at look at the she's in uniform right there. That's not the ripped picture of her, but you can see like the vest. Mm-hmm. That's pretty sick. And and, and he's his daughter's hot. No man, no man. This man is a big boy. Oh, okay. But I, I thought that's pretty cool because it's like from far away they don't look like they're. Imagine tasing that guy. Imagine ta- tasing a fat cop. <laughs> like, like they have to be ready to fall over. You know, like they're not like expected to just stand there and take the tase. They have to like get it. Imagine if they just take it though. They're like, ah. I mean, yeah, I, I'm sure there's been some that are just like okay, but there are definitely some. Like, a lot of cops, like, a lot of people that get tased, you know, fall over. And I'm sure cops are no exception to that when they're being trained. Because, like, it's a lot of shit happening to you. But imagine being, like, a big fat cop and getting tased and just fucking falling over. Her. Oh, yeah, you've shown me her before. Oh, I have? Yeah, you showed me her before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's ripped. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like, yeah, like, but it's not like, it's not like a bad ripped either, though. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I mean, those shots right there, she's probably, like, uh, doing... Uh, a uh, competition? Yeah, like, like, where she just ate a lot of bread after having drank, like, gallons of water for a few days. Because, like, like, when you look at, like, the posters for, like, Logan or Captain America or any of those, like, whenever you see the pictures, or, like, the uh, the Expendables movies, mm-hmm. when you see, like, the, poster of the posters of those guys, like, ripped out of their fucking mind and, like, the veins are popping out, they are dangerously dehydrated in those pictures. Really? Yeah, because what they do is... <laughs> They they drink a lot of water, and they get super buff. But then, like the day of those pictures, they they force them to eat like a ridiculous amount of like bread, and take like uh, dehydrators, and they're just sucking all the water out of their muscles, so, so that, that so that their muscles are like rigid. more strained and more rigid. And like like Logan, they do that in Logan. They do that in like all all the big Marvel movies. All those characters for their like big close up scenes, they do that. And the problem is, is like if you don't know what you're doing. It's really dangerous, and it can fuck you up. And it can fuck you up because you like, you're like not hydrated for a long time, or not a long time. Like usually they do it and they get their pictures and everything for a couple hours, and then boom, they just start fucking chugging water. You're not hydrated for a long time. You're just hydrated for a good time. Neuromuscular inca- incapacitation. There you go. Has no relation to body fat. What? Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? He's like he's like in your face, but you weren't even in the game. I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> anyway, imagine Copenhagen's like dedicated all his time research, and Charlie's just like, "What?" <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's, I don't know. What he's no, I know, but I just think it's hilarious because I feel like he's over there like dedicating his time to this, and you're just like, "To oh, what? What? Like to like whatever he's talking about?" Oh, he might just know. <laughs> <laughs> he might just know about this stuff, or know, you know that I mean? you won't care. No, I think he knows what whatever this is we're talking about. He seems to. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's just saying big words and hoping we don't act, like check him. I knew he wouldn't know what that is. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I have no idea. I forgot to drop this in the Discord, by the way. Google it, Charlie. No. I'm not doing it. What did you uh, forget to drop in the Discord? Oh, that we were live. I didn't. I didn't drop oh. it in Cyclops Teddy. Wow, that's um, crazy. You know what else you should Google? What? Poco no pico. No. Why not? I just don't trust any of you right now. You're all trying to get me with your Google no. searches. That's I how they get you. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Google. Or like things. you know, really in front of my salad. How dare you? <laughs> if we did that on the podcast, we'd get fucking banned. I told uh, this guy that I work with tonight that he should Google it, <laughs> that he would really enjoy the content. And he was like, "What? What is it?" And I was like, "You know, like it's just a diet." Trend. <laughs> I swear sometimes being Charlie's <laughs> FBI agent sucks. Well, there you go. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> the 
thing with the salad? Yeah, it's pretty. Is it real. the thing in the? Oh, he must have. No, I think it's what they're talking about. I think Prime must have looked it up just now. <laughs> don't, just don't. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm worried about what it is. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Neuromuscular incapacitation has no relation to body fat. It's gotta be some kind of penis thing. It's gotta be. Neuromuscular or, incapacitation. Or it might be like choking. It might be like a choking thing. I don't know. I could see that. It's r- literally nothing bad. Oh, I get. I trust Plant on this. I don't. Why just not? freaking Google it, Charlie. Because I just fucking Google, not freaking. Okay, whatever, bro. You just Google use, it. Use your words. What am I googling? I don't know. Goggling. Neuromuscular incapacitation has no r- relation to body fat. Man, you're typing the shit out of it over there. I know. Hold on, wait. Fuck, I need my other hand. Okay. <laughs> Nero. Shit, where, how do you spell it? Where the fuck is it? Never oh. mind, bro. You should get it. N-E-U-R-O. Hold on, I'm trying to scroll up. Oh my god, I'll that? Google it. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind if you're <laughs> waiting. <sighs> I'm worried. Muscular what? I already Googled it. D. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> What's it called? Neuro- neuromuscular decapitation? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> this is... I have had... I have had... I had... <laughs> s- haven't seen that like nine years ago and still remember this. Wait, so what did you find? Hey, Danny. I don't... It's something about incapaci- incapacitation, incapacitation, not <laughs> decapitation. <laughs> uh, I, it's, I don't know. It's uh the psychologic... Hold on. The physiologic effects of multiple simultaneous electric electronic control device discharges. Essentially, it's them talking about people who get shocked a lot. Oh, like uh, and shit. I'm not reading this. This is a lot of words. Like uh, electrotherapy. <laughs> I think it's more like the taser thing. Some people like like th- getting tased. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. There's this guy that I used to work with. He had like nipple piercings, and him and his ex would like get together and like hook up, and they would hook up a car yeah, battery to taser. their nipples. No, no, it's a taser the whole time. What are you talking about? We were talking about tasers. Never mind. What? But they would hook up a car battery to his nipples. Like, cause he had nipple That's rings. different. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's this guy I used to work with. He was telling me about it. Because, like, he was like, yeah, like, you know, when me and my ex were together, we'd just, like, hook up. And, like, we both had nipple rings. And we'd just hook up car batteries to each other's nipples or tase each other in the nipples. Like, on the nipple ring. For, like, a thing. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And I didn't know this guy that well at all. <laughs> <laughs> like we Maybe he was trying to spread the gospel of something we just don't understand is I, awesome. I, on David Dobrik's vlogs, they had like a like a hand taser, and they were like tasing each other. And Scotty like tases his own leg, and he's like, "Oh shit, oh I kind of like y'all want to do this during sex? What?" <laughs> he's like, "This is awesome," <laughs> and, and they all like lost it. They're laughing. Like I mean, I guess some people just like that shit. It's like I mean, some people enjoy pain. Like some yeah, people, no, I dude, I know it. somebody who like gets tattooed, like not because they like any of the pictures at this point. Like they just do it because they want that feel. Is that is it, but Carly? No, oh. Carly likes her tattoos. Okay, she likes getting like the messages and everything of what what they mean. But like, I know somebody who just gets tattoos. Yeah, to get them. <laughs> like they just have a we draft. We haven't seen Carly in a while. It hasn't been that long. It's been a minute. I mean, birthday. I forgot she was like here in town over how you gotta remember. We didn't invite her to anything. That's a good point. <laughs> Damn, we didn't invite Carly to anything. Because, like, we d- I forgot that she was in town. Because I'm so Charlie. used to her being in Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> we got to remember to invite her to shit. <laughs> Did you invite her to Dave and Buster's day? No. Oh, to no. To be fair, I didn't really invite anybody. I only. V- it's I all, it was just a you and Matt day? Ma- mostly me and Matt. Did Clinton go? No. Nobody else went. I only just you and Matt? I only hook, uh, hit up a couple people, but no one really responded. Did you guys hold hands? <laughs> yep. You should hit up Vidas. To go with you because he's like depressed. <laughs> why is he depressed? And why know. are you putting that business out oh, there? Oh, I'm for sorry. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> trying to put. I got so used to us just talking. I'm not trying to put his business out there. He's FYI, not actually depressed. FYI, if anyone wants to marry Soda Pop and he's looking for a wife, oh well, well, there you go. There you go. You want to be Soda Poppin's wife? Sure. He's very famous. Sure. <laughs> he has lots of money. Sure. You'll be a fantastic trophy wife. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Is it like an open relationship where I got to commit? <laughs> Pretty sure you gotta commit. 
You'd probably be in a big glass case. Oh, I could like marry him and then divorce him and take half. Not if he makes you sign a prenup. Will he make me sign a prenup? Probably. He's can rich I, and you're not. <laughs> can I seduce him into making me not sign a prenup? Uh, I'd be like, oh, I'll never leave you. I'd switch teams for seven figures. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Pete Holmes is, the comedian? <laughs> he had a great joke about that where he was like... Uh, he was like, people always say, like, I wouldn't suck a dick for a billion dollars. I was like, a billion dollars? I took a dick for, like, five, like 50 bucks. <laughs> it's not, I don't give a shit. It's like, it like, like someone was like, would you suck Ryan Gosling's dick? Ryan Gosling's dick? Yeah, I'd, I'd do it for $50, and I'd pay him the $50. <laughs> it's Ryan Gosling. It's like, he, bro, he has such a good joke about, like, the stigma behind it. It's so funny. <laughs> Uh, cause he, he was like, the idea was like, some of you guys just, you guys let sex ruin your life too much. A million dollars is life changing. It a is. billion dollars changes the world in <laughs> some capacity. <laughs> like you can, you can manipulate like politics. <laughs> like if you've got a billion dollars, like some crazy shit, it was hilarious. Pete Holmes is so underrated, bro. He's such a good comedian. He's so tall. Have you ever seen him like next to other people? Mm -mm. He's like six, seven. <laughs> He's a fucking giant. I'd switch teams for seven figures. I don't know if I'd do that. Why not? I mean, would you? For seven figures? Like, how much do I have to switch teams? You have to switch teams. Like, completely? Yeah. Utterly? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Utterly. Can I just be like, bye? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, girls are nice. <laughs> it's so it's so true, though. I would slob on a knob for at least five. Really? I don't know about that, bro. 500? 500 is not I don't know if I'd do any kind of Felicio. sex thing for money. Like, I just I don't want it to be about money. <laughs> 500 bucks is 500 bucks. Oh, you know what? Okay, guys. That's a solid argument. We, have, we, have, we all have some different standards. <laughs> Damn. That's... I guess Copenhagen we've entered. We've way. entered this room tonight. <laughs> Oh man, evening gentlemen. Hello, Hello Zopic. <laughs> Zopic, bro. It's a weird night. <laughs> Just gonna warn you off the gate, like off the rip, out of the gate. It's a it's a strange the one. The ripping and the tearing. I've done questionable shit for less. <laughs> okay, well information. I well mean that's received. fair. That's fair. I haven't thought about it like that. What's I your minimum for sucking a dick? That's you're just gonna write out and ask him. Okay, well there you go. I hope I my cousin isn't here anymore. My younger cousin. <laughs> my my I've done questionable Actually, stuff. Actually, I don't know how old he is now. Anything. He's like, he might be 18 or 19. That's crazy. You might be 18 or 19. <laughs> no, I'm older than that. I know. You're like 40-something now? 50-something? Where is this thing? Hold Murder on. for hire? I'm going to need about three fifty. Damn. That's it? $3.50? I think he means 350 Oh. He's been gone. Don't worry. Okay. Depends on who it is. Oh, shit. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> Or when it comes to murder for hire, like, what? I need probably 10 or 15 grand. Well, we're talking about expenses and everything included? Yeah. Okay. I want my hotel room paid for? No, actually, no. Because then there's like a paper trail. I just need 15 grand in cash, and you need to tell me where they are. And I got you. <laughs> <laughs> there, I'd I probably guess. be like, <coughs> I don't know. It's taking a life, so. Mm hmm. Taking a life is easy, Creed. Maybe Living like, with it is maybe hard. Maybe about $100,000. <laughs> 100 grand? Yeah. That's like top tier assassin pay. Well, I'm good. Are you? I'm very Are good. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. I'm the best. <laughs> There's no one better at killing than me. I kill so good. I kill the biggest. I kill the biggest and the ba baddest. No one's better at killing things than I am. I kill people. <laughs> It's easier to talk about things. I'd suck a dick for a year's rent. <laughs> that's tangible. You, yeah, that's fair. That's a good point. Or a house. I don't know. Like a house that's paid for. I don't think I could bring myself to the, the physical act. Though. It's like, you know. Even for whatever this, like, for, like, the ridiculous money. Why? I don't know. It just pretends your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to suck my own dick. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't want to. <laughs> you never wondered? Like, if I could do it? No, I'm I mean, like, have you ever wondered, like, what if? 
what if I could do it? Yeah. Like, say, like, you meet yourself from another timeline. No, I would it, not suck. That's not gay, though, because it's I don't you. know, man. It's basically <laughs> masturbation at that point. <laughs> meet from another timeline. <laughs> nah, man, I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm still good in that case. 100% a house, what you mean? <laughs> Street level amateur hitmen are usually 5K to 10K. Yeah, a professional can be 100K plus. See, and you're definitely not a professional. I'm Creighton. a professional. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Creighton, you're barely a professional cashier. <laughs> you're not a professional hitman I'm by any means. I'm professional. I took my own dick 100P. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Zopic would. See? I don't think I could. I, I don't think I well, would. Like, I know that I can. Like, I'm flexible enough. Like, I know so that. So, like, what if it's like. But I'm not. What if it's like past gonna you? do it? What do you mean past me? Like if it's so me like, from the past? So it's you. No. And then you Craig, get your listen. dick sucked by it's yourself. It's not. It's not and me. Then eventually, it's, you, you don't have get to it. Come back in time. You're not understanding. It's the dick. it's the actual act of sucking a dick. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just. Well, I mean, you're not curious. No. Oh. Not even a little bit. Like you don't even know like what you want, what you taste like, and stuff. <laughs> 100 pesos. <laughs> That's like 75 cents. From Reddit, sucking your own dick feels more like sucking like your... S- what? Hold like on. From Reddit, sucking your own dick feels more like you're sucking a dick Sticky. than getting it sucked. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Charlie, the fact that you said that means you have. Exactly. That I have what? You've wondered. Wondered w- Wait. About what it's like or what it tastes like or what it is like to suck a dick. I don't know. I just said you wondered. And, like, really, there's a lot of questions. If I say elephant, you're thinking about elephants now. (laughs) Like, you didn't get to decide whether or not you were going to think about elephants. Like, when you said the sentence, I started thinking about it, of course. But, But like, have you thought about before? I don't think I've ever put any real thought into it, no. (laughs) Not even a little bit. Like, you're like, like, so, say, for whatever reason, there's just now two of you. First of all, stop kicking. Sorry. But there's two of you. That way, it takes the angle out of it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like a lot of it, if you were doing your own, no, would be the Creighton, angle. I don't think you get it. I just don't. I want to. <laughs> like, it, like I, I'm very confident in my sexuality. Like I, I understand who I am inside, and I just that's just one of those things. I don't. It wouldn't matter if it was me. <laughs> like I don't want to do that. <laughs> that's just not me. You're gonna tell me you've never blown your load in the general area of your face. <laughs> No, I haven't. You ever <laughs> shot one like right in your eye? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Louie. Uh, <laughs> your head was literally that close to your dick. You said he had the flexibility. No shot, you didn't get it taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't. you did say you had the flexibility. So I, clearly I you tried before. I haven't tried to do that before. In yoga, there's a stance where you are balancing on the back of your shoulders and your neck. I thought you were about to say in yoga, there's a stance where you have to like where put you're your sucking dick in your dick. Your dick. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just didn't wonder about it. There's a stance where you start <laughs> off laying down, yeah. and you kick your feet up straight in the air, and you keep them there, and then you keep going back as far as you can. It's to build your core. Yeah. And then eventually you get to where your legs are past your head. That's why you see like those videos of like a girl who is doing the opposite, where she's like on her stomach, but her legs are all the way on the ground yeah. next to her head. It's like that. But it's like it works the other way around where you're doing the same thing, but where, where you're like on the back of your shoulders. Real Charlie hashtag sucked his own dick boy. <laughs> don't uh, admit to doing yoga. It's fucking life. physics, Charlie. What do you mean it's fucking physics? Don't admit to doing yoga to my face ever again. What? Yoga's great for you. But anyways, Yoga's amazing. So it's I'm stance. not going to sit here and have yoga fucking slandered. Yoga is life changing. From now on. It, it'll make like your. Like, it'll make your arms and legs feel good on a daily basis. Like, you won't even understand, like... From now on, Charlie's going to start out every podcast with, Namaste. No, I'm not. And then he's going to do some weird yoga positions <laughs> and be like, All true. right, today on the Shirt Soft Podcast, with his legs wrapped around his neck or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I can put my foot behind my head. <laughs> or he's going to be like, I can put my whole foot in my mouth. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get there. <laughs> and Slander then someone, season. And then someone out there is going to be impressed. <laughs> if you can put your foot behind your head, I'm impressed. If you can it's put pretty, that's pretty like, it's hard to do that. If you can put your foot in your mouth, I'm impressed. Namaste home and suck his dick. <laughs> 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 oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> 
man. Yoga's good for you. That's all I'm gonna say on that. I'm done with yoga. Have you ever done hot yoga? Not yet. There's not really anywhere around here that does it the well, right way. They just turn up the temperature in the room and do yoga while you sweat. Yeah, that's essentially what it is. Damn. But, but no one around here does it like as a class or anything. Probably because you could do it yourself. Like you could do yoga like in a sauna. People do that. You Those people are freaks. You probably wouldn't want to do it like right now with Corona going on because there's so much like body fluid and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, dude, uh, fucking uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Laird Hamilton, mm-hmm. the guy that makes the uh, superfood, the stuff for coffee. Yeah. Uh, He's a fucking crazy person. He does sauna at like a normal sauna temperature is like 180 degrees. He does sauna at like 240. And he does it, and he has a fucking, like, elliptical in there. And he does elliptical in the sauna at, like, 240. He has to use oven mitts because the metal on the bars, like, starts to get so hot that it'll burn him. Damn. He's, I bet he's, like, ripped, though, right? He's ripped. Hold on. Let me look up Laird Hamilton. Let me show you this absolute unit of a human being. I get wheezy tying my boots. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Copenhagen. Same. A little <laughs> bit. Some days. Man, you guys are... I can put my foot behind my head, and I have always been fat. Wasted potential. <laughs> um, yeah, this is layered. Hold on. Let me find... I'm trying to find a picture. We won't get in trouble for any of these. I mean, he's not wearing a shirt, but, like... We're just... D- we're we're talking about the male physique. Yeah, hold on. It's, s- it's for science. He creates, like, uh, sails for uh, surfboards and shit. Like, the kind that have, like, the, the little... The little wing we underneath. We saw one of those at the lake actually the other day. There was this guy out there in the middle sailing. It was pretty cool. Hold on, I'm trying to find him. Well, okay, so this is one of his. Serv- ah, that's not a good. Hold on. I want to find like the, he has like boats that do it now, like giants. Do they have boats that will like the boat he because he's a he's a pro surfer is like what his like profession has been for years, and he has a boat that is ridiculous. It has like a. It has fins behind it that it's dragging to create waves that are like seventy foot tall. What? Let like, me see a video of that. I don't know. Like I don't know if they have any. Like I know they have like. It's like a, apparently it's like a test thing. It's not anything that they've like manufactured yet. <laughs> like they're working on. It. The guy's a freak. He's crazy. And what's it called? I don't know. Guess how many channel points I have, by the way. How many? One hundred one point one k. That's a lot. Or one hundred. Point one K. My bad. Hold on. Okay. So first, go over here. What's this guy's name again? Laird Hamilton. This is him. The man is a fucking tank. Jesus. And he's old. <laughs> he's like he's you like can tell he's old. He's like fifty five. <laughs> like, he looks like if like one of the Beatles just got like fucking like ripped. One of the Beatles? What? Yes. The Beatles all have black jet black hair. <laughs> this guy is like blonde and <laughs> like like tan. Like what are you talking about? The Beatles are all pale old like <laughs> pale nerds. <laughs> like what do you mean? He doesn't even kind of look like a Beatle. <laughs> uh wait, bro, just turn the shower on, hottest temp, and do yoga in there. <laughs> You have a fucking enormous shower if you can do yoga in the shower. <laughs> yeah. That's hard. You ever drop a piece of paper and the static electricity sucks it to the floor? Try picking that shit up and feel like a fat fuck. Honestly. <laughs> All red face and shit. God, Copenhagen, you fucking walk. <laughs> oh, that's my real account. <laughs> Is that not those your real account? <laughs> so, so racers. Vote them out. I agree. I don't see the boat here <laughs> you're referring to. Well, they don't. He, again, they don't. They All they do is talk about it. They don't. Like he talked about it on a podcast. I don't know if there is video or pictures of it anywhere. Hold on, maybe there's some pictures. Of it's it. like four. Oh shit! <laughs> it's like four. <laughs> Damn, Chris, you didn't have to do that to him. No, untime him out, you fuck. Unban him. Well, mod ab- hashtag it. mod abuse hashtag police this state. Guy ever wear a shirt? Oh, didn't mean to time him out. <laughs> what? This guy ever wear a shirt? He's a surfer. No. What? <laughs> what does this Katie's uh, dad? Who? Katie's dad is a surfer. Who's Kate? Oh, I, I don't think it's that. <laughs> I don't think it's Katie. <laughs> they live in Hawaii. <laughs> Katie lives in Hawaii. No, she doesn't. She just moved there. Our friend Katie from school? No. No, Katie, uh, from the podcast. Katie? Oh, Katie DeCito. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, she moved to Hawaii? Yeah. What? That's crazy. Hashtag time out lives matter. God damn it. <laughs> Savage. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Zopic. My mods are mean. They're just assholes, if I'm being super honest. All of them except Flint. Flint's the only good one. Flint is the only good mod. There are no other good mods. Like that Temerity lady, she's just crazy. She's that 14-year-old still hangs out in here. Damn. He hit her with the 14-year-old. How old is she? Like 17, 18 now? She was Who? 17. Katie. She was like 17 when she got here. I don't know if she's gotten older or not. I don't know if she's gotten she older. She made a lot of very inappropriate jokes for someone her age. She did. And we were they were like funny. We but were, god uh, yeah, damn, we they were like, inappropriate. Oh, we were all like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Watching it unfold before us. Yeah, it was one of those. It was, like, it, was like a t- it was like a train wreck. Like, or not, like, a, like a bad car crash. Like, you, you don't want to look away. Or you want to look away, but you just can't. Jesse and her are best friends. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's what I expect. Like if Jesse had a daughter, I would expect I'd expect his daughter to turn out like that. <laughs> oh, I know about racers. We got hashtag beef now. Oh shit. That's crazy. Oh shit. Hashtag Zopic and Racers beef. Hashtag Hashtag who will win. Hashtag who will win. Hashtag who's older. Hashtag who's better. Hashtag who's hey, skinny. I have a question. What? So I have to work at 10, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, so Friday. Okay. Like, you have to be up at 8. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do you want to do the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, why did you space it? Why did you ask it with so many spaces Well, so in between? Because, like, it's going to be kind of weird. The question. So w- like we're gonna have to end my s- friend Craig. We're gonna have to end it early tomorrow. Uh huh. Well, when when do you get off work tomorrow? I get off at eleven tomorrow. So you get here at midnight. <laughs> like you. Well, I'm like. Well, so I. We might have to skip one tomorrow if no, it's no, that no, no, bad. Because no, no, like no, I don't no, want. I don't want to skip one tomorrow. I understand. I've timed it w- to where like I'm walking out at eleven to seventeen. So if I <laughs> can like get here. No, I I really did test it tonight. The only reason it took me so long to get here tonight is because I had to stop and get gas. Uh huh. And went by my house to take shit because you don't really have a good bathroom. Mm-hmm. Here. I have a good bathroom. Yeah, but I mean, I did a lot of shit and still got here roughly around the time that we start normally. So I was thinking if I leave at the same time I did, if I leave work the same time I did tonight, tomorrow night, mm-hmm. which I definitely can probably do. Because I have two closures tonight instead of one. Or two closures tomorrow night instead of one. This doesn't leave you with a lot of time to go to home and get sleep and wake up. I mean, yeah. Well, so if we cut it at one, I'm still going to get... Well, I was going to say, tomorrow is probably, depending on... So I was going to say, tomorrow might be a decent day for you to skip just because Call of Duty comes out at like midnight, I think. So what, are you like calling it? Huh? Are you calling it? What? Like the one for tomorrow. We're just not. I don't know yet. That's what I'm saying. I don't. Well, so, so I don't know if it starts at midnight or if it starts the next morning at like we'll 9 or 10. Yes, Link. Like, can you look? See that? Look at that. Well, that's what like. I'm saying, though. Like, what I could do is we could end it at 1. <laughs> what? Come back and said real talk. Is Crate never choked because he forgot to breathe? <laughs> it just. I read it. And it <laughs> uh, Man, Copenhagen. What's it like being married to your sister? Whoa. <laughs> He's never it made any implication that that is true. How dare you say something <laughs> like that to him? I don't know. Go ahead and don't let him talk shit, bro. I you're I better at it than he is. <laughs> I don't know. Ask your dad. <laughs> oh, shit. He got you, bro. <laughs> he got your back. Damn. <laughs> Midnight, your time, 100p. Let's go. I never knew my father. <laughs> I never knew my father. <laughs> what was his name? Bruce. Bru- Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> the name's Bruce. Bro, that movie is so good. It holds up so well, like the animation from it. The animation from Finding Nemo is fucking unmatched. Uh, it's so good. 12 Eastern Stair Time, so that's, yeah. Yep. Well, Creighton, I might be calling it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this no. might be the last podcast of the week. Well, unless we do one, because you said you had Saturday off, right? Yeah. We could do one Saturday. Potentially. Potentially. Me and Matt are binging Red versus Blue Saturday. If we do one Saturday, it's got to be late. Maybe. As late as it gets. Might be late. I don't know when it'll be. But you know the servers will be down for the first two hours. Shh. Probably. Yeah. So I don't know. Last year the servers actually worked pretty decent, didn't they? I can't remember. I don't know. That might be just me being optimistic. Have a wonderful night, boys. Glad to know where you guys draw the line on sucking dick. <laughs> okay, Zofit. Good to see you, bro. See you, man. 
I'm glad somebody learned something today. <laughs> I'm glad somebody learned something today. But my plan was that we could rap originally rap like early tonight. So I'd go home, kind of like get some more sleep tonight, and then do like six hours tomorrow night, and then go home, rest a little bit, and then like, you know. Yeah, that'd be right. Six hours tomorrow night, because that would be the evening of Friday, or the eve of Friday. Yes, tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday is Friday Fr- Eve. Friday Eve, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like today is Thursday Eve. Well, technically now it's it's Thursday. Um, I might just call it. You might just call it. Maybe I'll t- I'll text you tomorrow. Okay. I'll text By you the tomorrow way, if it's I know. gonna be like the third Saturday in a row that I've had all just circumstantially. That's cool. I'm not. Every man has a do. breaking point. For some men, that point is five hundred dollars. <laughs> It's been like the, the last seven launches. Oh, damn. And for some men, it's been... Besides me, I somehow got in, and my first game was Piccadilly. Damn, pain. That is pain. Piccadilly is like one of the most hated Call of Duty maps of all time. What is it? It's Piccadilly Square in in uh in the UK, like with all the big red buses, and it's just... The map is fucking terrible. <laughs> it is just so bad. It is, like, the worst. It's such a terrible, awful map. Everyone fucking hates it. Because, like, the spawns are so deep that, like, if you get spawn trapped, you fucking lose. There's no way out. Like, you can't escape the spawn. It's, it. they're so, it's literally hallways. So, like, people just have to hold the hallway. Or yeah. the, like, alley that you are walking out of on one side of the spawn. Like, the bad side of the map is so bad. It's only good for, yeah, it's not terrible for S&D. Yeah, low-key, it was actually good for S&D. It was a comp map. Look, the S and D guys loved that map. Like that was one of the favorite maps of the people playing in comp because like they were getting tired of playing all the other maps, and it really helps when you have a map that isn't in the rotation for anything else. So like if you have an S and D map that's only S and D, usually it ends up being a lot of the players' favorite S and D map because they don't have to worry about like playing it weird. Be careful with hallways. Bullets travel along walls. What? <laughs> What did you just say? I think he means like they can bounce off the walls and like bing, 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 and they hit you. Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put a Modern Warfare map in my top 100 maps. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Were there any good Modern Warfare maps at all? There's the one that's like you the did air. I did no. play Modern Warfare. No, the new Modern Warfare. Uh, the new one? Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't played it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's Call of Duty Modern Warfare, not Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare is the one you're talking about from back in the okay. day. And then they have Modern Warf- Warfare 2. And then Modern Warfare 3, and this is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's like, so it's its own thing. Oh, it's... it's, <laughs> it's so it's actually, technically, it's a prequel to the original Modern Warfare games. Okay. Yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. Hey, Shake, how's it going? Hackney, S&D, it was fun, 3v3 or lower... Yeah, I actually didn't hate Hackney. I was trying to think. I knew there was like one map I kind of liked. I liked Hackney. And I low-key liked... Uh, what's the one with the trains? I've been here for seconds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, bro. I, I could tell. Paris? How dare you. Uh, My favorite map m- mode was Gunfight. Bro, Flint, I'll play Gunfight with you tonight. <laughs> I will play 2v2 Gunfights all night long, and we'll stream it. I mean it. I love Gunfight. Gunfight is my fucking bread and my butter, dude. Down? Okay. Guys, <laughs> when the podcast ends, the stream continues. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm not ca- I'll play it right now. I'm ready. I love Gunfight. I wish gunfight. Copenhagen played some games. I wish Copenhagen fucking spoke to us. Right. Like, outside of the Twitch chat itself, we have no idea who he is and no communication. Like, if we ever die... <laughs> like, like we're not gonna be able to say anything. I got a PS2, bro. Yeah, well, you're, you know, a thousand. <laughs> How dare you? What's the map? What's the map? Is it Gunrunner? Is Gunrunner the, the the other good map? What's the other good map? My high. I can't remember the good name of it. You're probably high. High. On yes, Gunrunner. Okay, Gunrunner's pretty fucking dope too. Gunrunner and Hackney are the only maps in that game that are like half-ass good. Discord is how they get you. Uh huh. Right. Well, we don't mean just Discord. We mean like other. Twitter, ones. anything, literally yeah. Instagram, like just some way of messaging you. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> no. YouTube has sense. Or should I say YouTube. how we get you? How do you ah. get you? How do you get us? Like through. Bomb placement. Bomb placement on Gunrunner was stupid though. Yeah. 
Well, the the one on the crate was pretty stupid because you could see it from everywhere mid map, like the whole middle of the map, the whole left side, like the whole that side of the map was like looking at at bomb. The other bomb placement wasn't that terrible. It was just so like not worth doing because of the bomb placement. Like the one by train tracks was not like the worst. No, it was actually pretty bad. What am I saying? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you're right. That was pretty terrible. That map was bad for S and D. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. That game's terrible. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad we're getting a Treyarch game. S and D was weird, honestly, because offense usually had an advantage compared to any other COD. Yeah, that's true. On like every map, that's also that's a good point. That's a good point. I wish you knew more about video games. I do. I know we gotta. A lot we gotta. We gotta play. I just don't games. know a lot about COD. We gotta get. I gotta get you into COD and start playing with you online. Like, just get you like a headset, get you all the works, and 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 start playing COD. Start playing lot. COD. Yeah. When we when we get a place, whenever that is, wherever it is, we gotta I'd we gotta, we gotta hook Ops. you up. I like Black Ops a lot. <laughs> Black Ops was great. I'm old school. I like Black Ops, Modern Warfare. Those are the those are the ones. Those that are everyone's favorite. Yeah, those, yeah, those are, are everybody's I, favorites. Those are the ones I know. Yeah, you guys are big into North Atlantic fish. What? Huh? <laughs> I don't know what that. Oh, means. cod! Yeah, the fish. Hilarious! Yeah. God damn it! I caught a cod one time. I actually did. I did too. I don't eat fish. You ever eat fish? No, not really. I'm not like a I don't fish. Like fish. Fish is basically I know a fish vegetable. Is, I know fish is like good for you, like really, yeah. really good for you. I like, like salmon. That's it. I've, I've tried salmon on multiple occasions. I just cannot eat fish. What? I can't eat fish. Bruh. Any fish. Let me None hook, you, it all let me hook bad. you up with my friend that's a mom. She can cook really <laughs> good salmon. <laughs> my friend, she's a mom. <laughs> no, no, she's the mom of two boys, and she can just like fucking cook. Like it's amazing. She's from New Jersey. She's great. We just got legalized in New Jersey. This she doesn't this election. There. I know, but what I'm saying is, now we that did. it now that it's it legal in New already. Jersey, it wasn't already. Yeah, yeah. it was Everything's illegal. Legal in New Jersey. It was a Hamilton. Yeah, place. yeah. It was. How dare you? I like sushi. That's fish. Well, I'm congrats. So what congrats. were you saying though? There's no gunfight right now, by the way. There is a mode, gun fright, where you can drop tags and you can regain. It's still gunfight. It's still gunfight, Flint. Creighton keeps them New Jersey milfs on deck. <laughs> God damn it. You have to. You never know. Okay. They're crazy. I would never hook up with one. Uh huh. This one was very crazy. I think <laughs> she tried to like hook up with me, but no. Okay. Well, I'm proud of you. Yeah. She's really pretty though. Mm -hmm. I just was like, nope. Why not? Eh, nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want. All to. you had to say. Well, look, I just really didn't want to. Uh huh. Know? Right. But it's funny because right. I did find. Uh, no. I it's found okay. an actress on a certain website that looks just like her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody in person? You were like, wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I like I I. I think there's someone, I think someone we went to school with. Who? I'm not. What? Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. You're crazy. <laughs> crazy. Can you crazy wait, elaborate wait. on the subject. <laughs> wait, d DM me. No. Come on. Nope. I'm well, it's three v three, so get me in those lobbies. Got is you, Chris. Someone I know. What I might do, guys, is I don't know, cause I gotta take a shit. What I might do is when it ends. Well, we can like, go ahead and wrap. Like, what I was gonna say is I might wrap the like recording of the podcast and leave the stream on. And like let you like just let me talk. Let you talk bit, for a little bit. Back the game. And, yeah, until I like Will you come message back? me and tell me who it is. Maybe. Please. I just want to know. Like I'm not gonna say it. I won't say it. I won't even hint at it. Maybe. Is it somebody I know though? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, YouTube. We'll YouTube. see you fudging later. <laughs> it's gonna go game. <laughs> Not yet. We're going to stop the recording. So, first well, of all, no, I'm bye. just telling everybody on YouTube. That you're oh, yes. I'm going yeah. to play. I have to Epic take a shit. And he's going to go play a game. And then, like, you know, we'll see you guys sometime. <laughs> maybe tomorrow night. Maybe, maybe Saturday, Saturday. Maybe maybe Monday. Both. Maybe both. <laughs> Monday for sure. Maybe all three. But they won't know. YouTube's like six episodes behind anyway. Yes. Actually, I uploaded up to one 16 or 17 last oh, night. So, we'll, we'll figure you. it I'm out. I'm proud of you. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.